Hi, welcome to one of my videos. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to repair uh, a buzzing rattling transformer. Uh, obviously, it depends how bad your one is. You may have to take a couple of extra steps, but this receiver come with a buzzing transformer. I knew that when I bought it. I got a little bit off, not a lot to be honest with you, but I thought I'd get it. Be another video for the channel. Uh, hopefully, help a few people out and a bit more experience for me to see exactly you know, what's wrong with this and uh, get it repaired. Obviously, not everything I uh, try to repair, I do repair. I will show you some. I'm still in the middle of a few, a few more things to do that I didn't manage to repair, so to speak. So um, yeah, I'm not 100%. I'm a lot about intermediate. But this job here, I think, you know, someone basic could probably do this as well. Obviously, you need a soldering iron, maybe, depending on what you've got to do. You may do, just try and do a few wires. I'll show you that later. But, um, yeah, I think if, you know, take your time, be patient. Even, you know, someone very basic, I think, could manage this job. It's, it's not that difficult at all, really. So, OK, I know, I know it's buzzing. I, 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 you'll hear the buzzing in the video. I will show you very soon. But um, to get to it, I'll do four screws here to this side. To this side, this cover will come completely off. Then there's some screws at the bottom plate, which is about 15 on there, and it's only an old plate uh, on the bottom, so that comes off. So let's take a listen to it now. I've took it all. And as you can hear, there's a buzz in there. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take some pictures of the wiring where the wires from the transformer actually go, just in case one of the wires comes off, uh, or after I've sold one of the wires, if there's not enough leeway there, I know exactly where they go. So um, you know, label them up, tag them up, whichever way you prefer. Uh, lucky enough, I've got plenty of room here really. This transformer moves about, and uh, I can get to it. But like I say, you may have to undo one or two wires, or if not all of them, you know, um, just one of those things. But you know, just make sure you know. Where, which wire goes where. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to undo these four screws at the bottom holding the transformer to the chassis. So these four screws have got to come undone. Now it's free, I'm gonna stick it on a cloth and uh, turn it on and see, see how it sounds now. And as you can hear, it's got worse. I think the chassis was like holding that in uh, a bit tighter, the, uh, that bracket around it, that casing around the transformer. So it's, it's vibrating a bit more now. So uh, I'm gonna undo these, I'm gonna have to get this chassis, you know, this casing off now. Uh, I'm gonna undo these four like bent over clips holding the bottom plate on. So um, yeah, there's the clips, just, just bend them. They will bend and just undo it. And the bottom plate will come off. It may take a bit of prizing, but it will come off. And then proceed to do the, uh, the other part, the outer casing, the rest of it, it'll all come off. Take a bit of prizing, maybe, or whatever, but um, you will get it all off. So let's test it now. We're going to put it, you know, put it in there with a little cloth underneath and just test it uh, without that casing on to see if it's the fins making the noise or the casing. And as you can hear, the, the sound's gone now, the buzzing's gone, so that's the casing vibrating. Now, if it was the fins, you'd have to put some glue, but they, they recommend varnish for the, for the fins. Uh, down the fins, maybe squeeze it in there with um, a syringe or something like that, or paintbrush, try and get some in there, clamp it together, a clamp around the outside of it for a day or two, and uh, hopefully that'll bring all the fins back nice and neat and tight. But we're lucky enough with this one. We haven't got that problem, so we're, we know we're okay. But I don't think it's going to be a major problem if, if you've got to do that. You've got to say just a bit of varnish or very thin glue. But I think they do recommend varnish uh, just in between each each individual fin that's rattling about or come loose. Okay, uh, so now I'm going to uh, remove the old glue um, off of the casing. Out this, you know, just it, it's like honeycomb. So it just you know it does pink kind of pings off it, it scrapes off. It comes off fairly easy. Uh, but it's all nice and clean now, so what I'm going to do is add the new glue to uh, the outer casing and to the bottom plate. I'll tell you the glue at the end, I'll show you a picture of it. Uh, so that's all nice and glued now, it's all plenty of glue on there. So I'm going to put it all back together. And when I say put it back together, I'll put the outer case on the bottom plate. I'm going to push them four little clips and clips that hold the bottom plate on, push them all in nice and tight and leave it for a day to dry. So I've left it for a day to dry. I've stuck it 
back in the receiver loosely and we're going to give it a little go now. And there you go, um, it's all nicely uh, working. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm, I'm fairly happy with that, it's all come out well. I'll show you the glue that I've, um, I've used, this is the glue I've used. Um, I've used this glue because it's quite a th it's an all-purpose glue and it's quite a thick glue as well. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, I, I think that's going to be fine. I can't see any problems with it. Um, like I said, I've left it three or four days. Still no buzzing. I will leave it, about, I'll probably have this four, five, six months or something. So I will leave a little comment underneath in three, four, five months time just before I get rid of it, if I do get rid of it, just to let you know that I've turned it on and uh, what's happened to the buzzing. And I will be using it here and there anyway for some sound tests, speaker tests and whatever, so it will be used. So um, that transformer will get warm and whatever. Okay, so I hope that's been beneficial and helped to someone. We'll be coming back with more test reviews and other bits and pieces, some leads I'm going to make up and something to make, you know, some other stuff you may have not seen you can use for your new, old, it doesn't really matter, I fi like you with me. I'm trying to broaden the channel a little bit rather than concentrating on one I am. Anyway, I'll uh, say thanks for watching for the time being and I'll see you all soon.